Good evening and welcome to our first graduation celebration for the Broad Alban Perth High School Class of 2021. When the Class of 2021 left school on Friday, March 13th of their junior year, I don't think anyone could have predicted that this would be their last day of normal schooling in Broad Alban Perth. The last 15 months have been life-changing for everyone, but especially for our students. So tonight, we are gonna celebrate louder and better than we ever have. Tonight is a night to celebrate not the last 15 months, but the last 13 years. It's unfortunate that our students' experience has ended in the midst of a global pandemic, but the perseverance that has been developed by our students will stick with them for years to come. So we talk about celebration. What are we celebrating exactly? The event of graduation celebrates not just the end of high school, but as I said, the end of these students' journey through Broad Alban Perth from pre-K to 12th grade. Though these year, through these years, the accomplishments of this graduating class are far too many to mention. However, I will try to reach them all. Above all else though, tonight we are celebrating perseverance. Graduating from high school in and of itself is a true sign of perseverance. But graduating from high school in the midst of a global pandemic, now that's extreme perseverance. Throughout all of this, the accomplishments of this class will stand the test of time. I'm gonna share with you some stats, some information, and some, some knowledge about this amazing graduating group. This college group, this group graduated with close to 1,000 college credits. And when you put that in perspective and you look at what this year and the challenges that were brought forward with this, this number should be exponentially larger and could be exponentially larger. But the fact that this group reached 1,000 credits really in the situation they've been in is, is astonishing. We actually have one of our graduates that's leaving Broad Alban Perth High School with 51 college credits. We have amongst our graduating class many different paths that led us to this evening. We have students that have been two-year members of our Career and Tech program at HFM BOCES, the New Visions programs in Education and Nursing, the Clean Tech Early College High School at TechSmart program, our P-Tech program, and the handful of seniors this year that were early admit at FMCC. All of those different paths have led us here tonight to celebrate this journey. Throughout the years, many of you have served on the numerous extracurricular activities, whether it's on our boat out on the Sacandaga with a fishing club, by lifting each other up and inspiring one another and supporting one another in our Alliance Club, or our eSports Club, all different things that have grown out of the interest of you, the students. I think back to four years ago being in Anaheim, California with members of this class that were in eighth grade at the Kid Win Challenge Nationals and the amazing experience that that was. We have members of our drama production that have gone through three plus years of different ways to put on a musical at Broad Alban Perth, beginning with Bringing It On, going into Mamma Mia, last year beginning Susical the Musical and having that abruptly ended due to the pandemic. And then this year doing Annie, online, virtual, in an amazing way that really set forth the talents and the efforts of our students. We have our athletes, many of whom are multi-sport students. And I say student athletes very strongly in this sense. I'm extremely honored at the fact that all of our varsity teams have earned distinction as New York State teams of academic excellence. In addition, for the last two years, Broad Alban Perth has been acknowledged as a Scholar Athlete School of Distinction in New York State. This graduating class has played a big role in that being the case. Many of our teams have competed at the sectional level. We've had members represent at the state level in the final four. All throughout, though, they have developed teams, camaraderie, and memories that I hope you carry with you for the rest of your days. Our artists, the artwork that has appeared in 
different competitions and galleries throughout the Capital Region. The Paul Nigra Center, Fulton County Art Show, the SPAC Young Artist Show, Horsing Around with the Arts, Doodle for Google, numerous other shows where your talents are on full display. Our music program, that in a normal year is outstanding. This year, they took it to a whole other level and they were able to provide new and innovative ways to show off their talents. Our National Honor Society members that have shown that it's not just the smarts in the classroom, but what you do out in the community and the leadership that you show within your building. And for the students that have worked throughout their time in high school, I want to spend a second to, to salute you. Uh, you put forward effort that balancing a job and your education is something that should be admired. And you all did it with grace. You're sitting here today having balanced that and done it well. So congratulations on that. A lot of people are gonna sit there and tell you that high school is the best years of your life. I wanna challenge that theory. I wanna hope that high school has prepared you for your best years ahead of you. So I hope that you're leaving here from Broad Alban Perth with not just great memories, but skills and the ability to go into the world and have your best days ahead of you. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You have had to persevere through more than any other class in recent history. It's this perseverance that will set you up for success in life. I wish you nothing but the best. Congratulations, you will be missed. First off, I would like to say congratulations to my fellow classmates and graduates. It's so hard to believe that we are sitting here, about to graduate in a couple days after spending 13 years together. I debated for a long time about what to talk about in this speech. It felt really daunting to try and sum up our education in a few short minutes. But after a lot of deliberation, I decided to speak about the children's book, Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. I'm sure most of you have read this book, but if you haven't, here's a little context. Oh, the Places You'll Go is a short story about how life is a great balancing act between success and hardships. And although your journey may not be perfect, there is so much to learn along the way. While I do love this book, the reason it holds such a special place in my heart is because my parents gifted it to me on the day of my kindergarten graduation and wrote a note on the inside cover that I think is still relevant to where we all are today. This note says, Kelsey, we are so very proud of you today. You have completed the first big milestone of your education, kindergarten. This is quite the accomplishment and definitely one to be proud of. Always remember that you decide your own path in life and can do anything you put your mind to. Now here we all are, 13 years later, graduating high school and about to embark on our own new paths, whether it be college, the military, or the workforce. What a wonderful moment. While this is so exciting, it's also a little scary to enter the unknown, but we felt the same way at our kindergarten graduation. We had no idea what was coming next or what to expect, but look at us, we all made it. We are at the last milestone of our educational journey at Broad Alban Perth. Through the good times and the bad, the hard classes and the late nights, and literally a global pandemic, we persevered. I know that this has prepared us for whatever comes next, and I can't wait to see what you all accomplish as we move through these next stages of our lives. Our time together may be coming to an end, but we are on to bigger and better things, and the world awaits us. Congratulations, everyone. Grateful doesn't even begin to describe how I feel about spending my time in high school with all of you. Now I'd like to thank a couple people who have made an impact on my time at Broad Alban Perth. To my mom and dad, thank you for showing me what unconditional love is. So much of my success is thanks to you guys and I'm endlessly proud to be your daughter. I love you. To my brother Matthew, you taught me the importance of hard work and have inspired me to succeed since we were little kids. I'm so glad that we had the chance to grow up together. And now to my friends. It is hard to put into words how much you all mean to me. Our late night Stewart's runs, skating, sledding, and campfires will forever be some of my favorite memories. And although we won't all be together next year, I know we will always be connected one way or another. You guys have made me the person I am today, and I'm so thankful I spent my time in high school with you. To Grace Miller, you inspire me to be a better person. Thank you for befriending that weird sophomore in your gym class and for all the advice and guidance since then. Now I wanna thank a couple teachers who have impacted my time at Broad Alban Perth, and I would like to start by thanking Mrs. Marshall. Although I was only in her class for one year, she's without a doubt made my time in high school infinitely better. 
I will miss our sixth period talks and all the laughs her, Aubrey, and I shared. Although I plan on majoring in elementary education as of right now, I know that she is waiting for the day when I tell her I switched my major to high school English so she can say, I told you so. I'm not so sure about that, but if I ever do pursue that route, I know I would want to be the exact kind of high school English teacher that Mrs. Marshall is. To Mr. Henry, thank you for allowing me to be in your Star Wars class, even after Aubrey and I tortured you for the first three years of high school. I'm sorry for making a bingo game called Bringo, short for Brian Bingo, but also I think you know we only did it because you are a favorite. Your environmental science class educated me on something that would become one of my main passions, and for that I am so thankful. Finally, Mr. Jennings, thank you for all the laughs during sociology and for being the best class advisor a class president could have asked for. I know it wasn't easy to try and plan our senior events with all the guidelines and restrictions, so thank you for never giving up on what we wanted. To these people and so many others, thank you for everything you've done for me. I never would have achieved this without your support. With that being said, I leave you all with a quote from the children's book that I read all those years ago, clueless about what was coming next, but ready for the adventure. To the class of 2021, congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. Thank you. Hello everyone. To start off, I would like to say congratulations to all of you. This past year has been exceptionally difficult, but the fact that you are here shows that you are resilient and resourceful. We have great things ahead of us. To our families, friends, teachers, administrators, and other school staff, thank you for guiding us through the many ups and downs of the past few years. You went above and beyond to make this the best senior year possible, and we are grateful. On that note, I would personally like to thank my fellow students and the faculty here at BP, because in addition to learning from books and classes, I've learned a great deal from the people around me. So, because of my obsessive organizational skills, I decided to make a list. Number one, take advantage of the opportunities around you and don't be afraid to try something new. You may not succeed at everything you do, but along the way, you may just discover a new passion. Number two, the name of the host from the TV show, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, is pronounced Guy Fieri, not Guy Fieri. And that came directly from a Flavortown expert, so it's verified. Pronunciation is important. Third is don't sweat the small stuff. Following this old cliche is particularly difficult for overthinkers like me, but in the end, life will be much more enjoyable if you don't waste your energy on little things that don't matter. Focus on the bigger picture and it will help you be in the moment. Number four, if you get the opportunity to purchase a blow up T-Rex suit, do it and wear it everywhere. It never goes out of style. Number five, be your authentic self and never apologize for being who you are. Social media and society in general can put a lot of pressure on you to be, look and act a certain way but you'll find true happiness by being who you are. Sixth, is if someone asks you for a pen, don't throw it unless you have really good aim, because otherwise there will be collateral damage. I'm really sorry about that, by the way. Seven, we all need help sometimes, so don't be afraid to ask for it, especially in these upcoming years. Whatever path you choose, you will most likely need guidance at some point, and whether it's big or small, allow those around you to help you find your way. And last but not least, never attempt a double box jump in a suit and tie. But if you do, make sure there isn't somebody there recording on their phone because you will never live it down. I could go on forever, but I know that I'm out there somewhere in that audience wanting to get some more popcorn, so I will end there. As you move on to life's next adventure, I encourage you to continue to learn from those around you because it will help you grow. Thank you for all that you've taught me and congratulations, class of 2021. Hello everyone, it's hard to believe graduation day is finally here. We used to talk about 2021 like it was this inconceivable notion, and now we're living it. Today many recognize 2021 as the escape from the horrible chaos of 2020, but some of us still remember the days where it was this unimaginable date far, far in the future. I remember in fourth grade we visited the computer lab weekly and eventually received our school emails. When met with 21 in our emails to indicate our graduation year, we all gasped and laughed at the thought of graduating in 2021 as it seemed so distant and futuristic. We briefly wondered what the world would look like that far ahead and what we would be like, but quickly returned to playing typing games and discussing our strategies for Lava Tag. Then fifth grade graduation came and we were reminded of 2021 once again. This time, even our parents and families agreed with us on the absurdity of their children graduating that far in the future. Slowly, memories of Lava Tag and chunky computers became distant and in its place rose middle school dances, lockers, and bell schedules. We may have been intimidated at first, I know I was, but we adjusted and eventually found comfort in this change. By the time we reached the end of eighth grade, we successfully transitioned from children to young adults and for the first time ever, 2021 didn't, was close and didn't seem like a dream anymore. 
Our transition into high school began and was more frightening than any other change before, forcing us to adapt again. We were met with a new building, new teachers, and more rigorous material. However, we persisted and found fondness and comfort in high school, most notably in the form of finding new ways to annoy Mr. Henry in biology class. Listening to Mr. Argetti's widely entertaining reading of The Crucible, complete with a box jump onto a desk, and hearing Mr. Bice scream WW and it's genius pretty much all the time, regardless of whether or not you were in his class. With all this going on, 2021 became our reality with, without us even realizing its fast approach. And the idea of graduation as a future unimaginable event was less and less relevant. We are forced again out of our comfort zones and pushed into the future, but there's nothing to fear as we have faced change time and time again, meeting it with eagerness and perseverance. We have been molded into people capable of and successful at adaptation, and I cannot wait to see what we will accomplish. Congratulations to the class of 2021, and good luck in all of your future endeavors, which I'm confident you will face heroically and with determination, because historically, you always have. I would like to take this opportunity to thank some of the most influential people in my life that have shaped who I am. To my parents, thank you for your unwavering support, understanding, and patience over the years. Thank you for always being there for me, even when I make mistakes, especially when I make mistakes. Thank you to my friends for our late night ice cream runs and sledding fiascos. All of you made my high school experience worth remembering. I would also like to thank a couple of teachers that significantly impacted me and helped me throughout high school. Thank you to Mr. Henry for dealing with all our shenanigans and finally admitting after four years that I am in fact your favorite student, which I've known all along. Thank you to Mrs. Marshall for being one of the best teachers I've ever had and for letting Kelsey and I barge into your classroom every day just to talk because we missed you. Again, congratulations and good luck to the class of 2021. finally come the one that we have all been waiting for graduations here and has begun just not the way that we expected supposed to have our family waiting in the stands and be there waving if i think about it i'd probably cry but i've got you right on my side i must say i never thought we this way at least we can try to make the most of it oh, oh. there are so many things we have missed that gave our other classes so much bliss a senior run through the hallways and a homecoming pep rally. A senior trip bowing out of state. A senior picnic fills up our plate. The situation makes me kick and scream. But at least I know we are one team. I must say, I've never thought we.
And now it's time to recognize our top 10 for the Broad Alban Perth High School class of 2021. Isaiah Blackman, Michaela Stay, Alexis Smith, Macy Pascarelli, Riley Ipe, Sarah Larson, Bethany Costanzo, Aubrey Jennings, Lillian Mitchell, and our number one student in the class of 2021, Kelsey Hinderlayer. Congratulations to a tremendous group of students and even better people. Hello and welcome. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ivy Derwin. I'm so happy to see everyone gathered here today and I'd like to welcome you to the celebration of the class of 2021. I'd like to start by thanking all of the parents, teachers, faculty and staff for all that they've done for us over the past 13 years. Now when I was told I was going to have to give a speech, I had no idea what I would talk about. And like all of my other high assignments throughout high school, I started this one last minute. Luckily, over the past couple of weeks, I've been reminiscing about the past four years. I thought about how nervous I was to start high school, and I can remember walking around on my first day feeling like I was gonna be trampled in the hallways. I can remember Mr. Henry talking about all the fresh fish he caught, and I think I heard Bice say something about not having a calculator back in his day once or maybe twice. It feels like just yesterday we finished sophomore year and I can remember saying, wow, we're already halfway done. Looking back on pep rally junior year when we won musical chairs and you would have thought we won a state championship the way we all rushed onto the court to celebrate. The remin reminiscing on all these memories makes it bittersweet to have to say goodbye. But as Tony Stark once said, part of the journey is the end. Unfortunately, our ending didn't go as planned and on March 13th, 2020, with only a few months left of our junior year, we all left the school excited for no school for a week or two. We were all burnt out from our classes and it was the perfect time to relax and watch Tiger King. But as time went on and we remained in quarantine, we finished our junior year online with no spring sports, no prom, and no knowledge of when this would end. We watched last year's graduates have their senior year cut short and we hoped and prayed that our senior year would be more normal. But sadly, nothing about this last year was normal. We started off our senior year with half the class fully remote and the other half only going to school every other day. Fall sports were postponed, homecoming and spirit week were canceled, and we never got our turn to win the loudest class during the cheering competition at pep rally as seniors, because we, we, we all know the seniors always win. We adapted to online learning and took everything that was thrown at us, and eventually towards the end of the year, we began to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Our hard work and perseverance was all becoming worth it when we got to have all three sports seasons as well as our senior prom. I'm so proud of everyone's dedication and commitment to finishing this year out strong. Learning online is not easy and it's especially hard for the kids trying to juggle playing sports and for the kids working jobs and for the kids battling mental health illnesses during a global pandemic. The class of 2021 is full of some of the strongest kids I know and it was an honor growing up with all of you. As I wrap this up, I encourage my fellow classmates to recognize the blessings of our last days of high school together. With our senior trip, prom, and graduation coming up later this week, realize that there are still memories to be made and future stories to tell if we just stop and savor the moment we are in. I'd like to thank you all for being here today and I want to wish everyone the best of luck with their post-grad plans. Thank you. Kevin Anderson. Patrick Arnold, Jonas Barkovich, Jillian Bazon, Isaiah Blackman, Peyton Bogus, Lily Bound, Aiden Broderick, Brandon Brody. Lynx Brownell, Ashley Bubniak, Christopher Bulo, Travis Burchell, Connor Canali, Juliana Carey, Lorenzo Castelluccio, Noah Cernak. Haley Charbonneau, John Chatterton, 
Christian Collins, Janelle Cook, Christopher Kakura, Victoria Kakura, Bethany Costanzo, Shelby Courtney, Catherine Cromer, Luigi Daniello, Jocelyn Dom, Ivy Derwin, Evan Duell, Landon Dingman, Matthew Dobson, Isabella Donahue, Michael Dorman, Joseph Doyle, Gavin Dusler, Daniel Dylon, Devin Eichinger, Riley Eith, Madison Esposito, Elizabeth Finley, Simon Florio, Jordan Foster, Noah Francisco, Leah Frascator, Colin Funk, Drake Gaioni, Paris Galpin, Emma Gancars, Cade Garrison, Maya Gary, Hannah Gamula, Lorelai Granier, Sadie Hale, David Hayes, Diana Hebert, Ryan Herdick, Nathan Himsel, Kelsey Hinderleiter, Abigail Hinkle, Micaiah Holmes, Haley Hunter, Caroline Ionati. Colin Ippolito, Elizabeth Jackson, Aubrey Jennings, Alexis Johnson, Jewel Jordan, Sarah Larson, Kaylina Leno, Riley LePage, Jenna Lestage, Tyler McDougall, Richard Mancini, Haley Mason, Maura McCloskey, Robert Micken, Brandon Miller, Robert Minery, Lillian Mitchell, Owen Mormile, Michael Morrison, Samantha Murphy, Seth Nelson, Kiara Nemhard, Lillian O'Brien, Mackenzie O'Connor, Matthew Oropello, Braden Parati, Macy Pascarelli, Colin Peck, Matthew Perry, Nathan Phillips, Cameron Polakowski, Madison Price. 
Avery Quickenton, Andrew Reichel, Jacob Rendo, Andrew Rivenberg, Alexis Rodriguez, Jackson Sassanella, Jordan Shaw, Michael Siegel, Alexis Smith, Donovan Smith, Katie Smith, Mackenzie Smith, Allison Spagnola, Michaela Stay, Alexa Stewart, Austin Stutsky, Madison Sweet, Desiree Teeter, Jacob Terwilliger, Kiara Tomlinson, Dylan Travis, Ava Tyler, Shannon Van Aken, Ryan Visco, Wolfgang Von Berg, Jocelyn Wagner, Madison Wakefield, Daniel Waller, Jaden Wirt, Callan Zanella. Congratulations again to the class of 2021. I wish you nothing but the best in your future. Go be great.